Dr. Martin Luther King, J.R. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. So MLK's dream was that we'd be able to have a society where everyone was equal, that he'd be able to work together and learn together and have a society where it didn't matter what race you were or uh, your religion or your creeds or anything like that, that you would all get to live in equal society and have the same protections of the law and the same ability to uh, do whatever you want to do and, and live the life you want to live. I feel like my interpretation would be that he wanted equality for everyone, white and black, and that um, white people shouldn't have all the privilege. Um, what I was talking about MLK's hopes were that uh, he wanted to have equality for everyone. Uh, I think he just wanted that to get the point across that no matter the color of your skin or if you're a colored human being that we're all the same, we're all equal. Um, he wanted to right America's wrongs and have equality for everyone. So. I feel like the interpretation was he wanted equality for everyone and that not everyone should be visualized as like more important than other people. To right America's uh, like equality, like what, how everybody was treating people that were colored, um, he wanted to he wanted to kind of fix it and have everybody just be at peace and not be so judgy against the color of their skin. And that um, doesn't really matter the color of their skin. It's uh, we're all human beings at the end of the day. So. Martin Luther King had seen a lot of uh, discrimination, Nobody violence against uh, different racial minorities, uh, violence against protesters, um, and a lot of, of oppression of people in his time. And he saw that you needed to push back in order to actually see change. You know, as he saw suppression of the polls and segregation in schools and segregation in various businesses around America, he thought that that was a time that we needed to change things. And so by having people work together, by having protests, boycotts, he saw that that was a way to pressure society and actually have a successful shift towards achieving his dream. Today I want to say to the state of Alabama. Yes, sir. Today I want to say to the people of America and the nations of the world that we are not about to turn around. Yes, sir. We are on the move now. Yes, sir. Yes, we are on the move and no wave of racism can stop us. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I see Martin Luther King's dream being played out in different scenarios. I think he will be extremely proud of us and slightly disappointed all at the same time because his vision was for us to obtain this, this goal. And I think we, for the large part we've we've achieved a lot but we're still not to that end goal that I believe that he envisioned for us because I see it as two prongs like we have accomplished a lot over a, a period of time but we still have quite a ways to go. Freedom means really that all of us um, in America have the opportunity of equal participation uh, in government, in education, uh, in accommodations, and we have the right to success in our nation. Um, freedom to me means the ability to do whatever we want and have the freedom to be whoever we want and live our lives however it makes us happy. My life has been influenced by the dream tremendous. I'm from a little small impoverished town in Clinton, Louisiana. The dream for me was to work on the farm and that's pretty much the aspect that I had in life was to just graduate high school and that would have been a bonus there just graduating high school but where I'm from there's not a lot of hopes in the town where I'm from when I look back in my life I look at the mirror it's been an 
absolute amazement of where I am now. I could not have dreamt a better life for myself. And I hope that everyone has that same chance, but I know all of us don't. So I will keep fighting for that chance for every single one of us. I don't know how it would have looked because this is what, you know, we've all kind of grown up with. And so I think the best way to kind of respect that dream is to kind of, you know, like keep at it, you know, keep treating each other kindly and including everyone regardless of what they look like. When I think of that again uh, is the I Dream uh, speech. I have a dream speech by Martin Luther King Jr. He gave a quote which I really, really like. And, and, and I think about our students when I, I think of this quote, I'll read it to you. I have a dream that his four children will one day live in a nation where we, they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. And I think of our students at Rogers High School. Um, all students, when they walk through and cross the blue line to enter school every day, all students are varsity. There's no JV students when they come to Rogers High School. And so we treat them based on the content of their character um, and how well they do in school, how they behave, building relationships. And so I believe that quote represents uh, my feeling in the Rogers High School community. The way I see MLK's dream played out is where I'm at, this school. Uh, people I see around just is way diverse like you wanted like how it is, it's friendlier, um, yeah, it's like you can you can go outside knowing you're safe and that you're, you're, you're protected and what he's done has impacted us and many, many more in the future, <laughs> so yeah. Like I said, everyone's included and I've never known a world where it wasn't and so I think that's beneficial because you don't really see, when you've grown up, knowing people are people and it doesn't really matter what anyone looks like or how people think because we're all different we're all going to think differently we're all going to see things differently but like knowing that we're all just people and so that's how it's influenced me is i don't see you as that you know that other group you're just like me with this faith we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. I would like for the world to become a place where race isn't even thought about as a first stop. I would like it for people to be judged by who they are and not by things that they were born with. Freedom to me is like being able to do what I want, where I please, how I please, you know? Stop having people tell me what to do. Just everybody accepting that we're all human. Freedom to me means the right to do whatever you want. Definitely, I think it's equality, tolerance, and showing compassion for people. Because a lot of the time, we tend to look at situations with others from a more biased point of view. They hurt me, when in reality, we should really look at the entire situation and really try to get down to the bottom of what's going on. In the South today is the continued existence of a system which stares him in the face almost every day, saying you are less than, you are not equal to. And I refer to the system of segregation. We have hope for the future, but it will take so, so long. It will take unbearably long that most people who are alive today wouldn't imagine seeing it. Relationships are the core of the world, and to improve on relationship would be to better the world, you know? Uh, the tragedy of the system of segregation is that it not only harms one physically and makes for physical inconveniences, but it does something to the soul. The ability to make your own decisions for yourself and your family, but it also means helping out others at the same time so that everybody has those freedoms, so that we have the freedom to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, to health, to safety, um, to, to having to hopefully get the American dream. 
My dream of a better world is one where people realize that compromise is not a four letter word. Where we realize that almost all of us have the same goals and that we work together to find them rather than pitting me versus you and an us versus them. But one where we can go together to say, what do we want this world to look like and how can we make sure everybody has the opportunity to succeed. Education, so that you see this defiance. Now, I don't want to give the impression that that has been no progress in this area. Certainly the system is gradually breaking down and this I think is a very hopeful sign. And as the system breaks down, it makes it uh, better and it makes it possible in a greater sense for the Negro to achieve the freedom uh, which uh, is... But it's gonna, unfortunately, I feel like right now we have a lot of us versus them. Whether it's in politics, whether it's in skin color, whether it's in um, uh, affluence, and we have to be willing to look at our goals. Our goals of, of loving each other, our goals of happiness, uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I believe when we can put our goals first and work together, it could come very soon. But right now we're starting to go backwards. And so I hope that that happens in my lifetime. I hope that that happens way before I retire from teaching. Um, but I fear that if we don't put others first, it will take a lot longer than it has to.